What's up, guys? I have paddled my way in the Power 100, uh, sorry, the Jet Power 1000 out to this remote location. And I'm finally ready to do the test of my jet powered kayak. Okay. Whew. Man, I haven't paddled for a while. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit out of shape. Let's turn this thing on. A little bit of road noise in the background, but uh, very shortly, I don't think that's going to really be a concern. All right, we got our yep. Computer's working. It's in a nice watertight box, and uh, the fuel pump is closed. The fuel uh, valve is on. First, I'm going to put on some safety equipment, though. Okay, put that there. <laughs> there we go. We wouldn't want to get hurt and have some uh, negative vibes, you know? <laughs> Throttle up. All right. This thing's running. <laughs> Whew. See if we can get her started back up. Come on, baby. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, man, I got goosebumps. Even though, I've, what was I doing, five miles an hour? Holy mackerel. That thing is so loud. Well, <laughs> as this thing cools down, several things are coming to my mind right away. And uh, one is I might try to put an actuator here so I can trim this thing as I'm uh, underway. She's hot, but it's not burning hot, so that's good. I didn't need the uh, fire extinguisher. That's nice. I might need another motor, though. This thing is uh, a tremendous amount of fun. I really wish I could play with it some more. But, you know, reality's starting to kick in. The sad truth might be... This is not meant to happen this year. At least me going really fast like a rocket ship. Uh, in the meantime, it's pretty much exactly as I predicted. Sadly, 
one motor, 45 pounds of thrust isn't really enough to uh, raise any eyebrows. It sounds awesome. I mean, it looks pretty cool, I think, going down the water. But, um, you know, if you really want to get out on the water, you know, put a motor on a kayak. I mean, heck, you could buy one of these kayaks and just put a trolling motor on it. And who knows, you might actually go faster with like a 55 pound thrust trolling motor. And it wouldn't cost you thousands of dollars. And you would have a longer range. And it wouldn't make everybody deaf in a one mile radius. <laughs> so I guess um, it may not be the most practical thing in the world, but it has been an awful lot of fun. And I appreciate you guys coming along with me on this crazy ride. I might actually take that jet with me on my journey that's coming up, on my 6,000 mile journey on my houseboat, because I'm taking a bicycle with me. And uh, yeah, I might get bored and <laughs> you never know what you're going to see on this channel. Meantime, let me get this puppy back home and uh, get back to editing because I only have a few days left before I got to ship. I think uh, December 31st or January 1st is when the Great Loop begins. All right, guys, thanks again for coming along. See you out there in the water. Okay. Thank goodness this thing paddles pretty good. I don't think I have enough fuel to get back home. Ha, ha, ha.